Hey people, hey Arenators, and welcome back to my channel. So, um, there's this show on YouTube called Odd Man Out, and I've seen several of their videos, but I never finished any of them because they weren't particularly interesting. But this one, uh, it, it came out very recently, and it's called Six BTS Fans versus One Secret Hater. So, they take a group of people, and then those people will try to find out Who's the secret hater? So I thought I thought it might be interesting. So let's play along, guys. Let's try to find out who's the secret hater. And if I remember the concept of the show correctly, the people will be asking each other questions. And uh, uh, so the questions might reveal who's actually the hater. They will explain the rules of the show in the beginning of the video, so that should be good. So without wasting any more time now, let's jump into it. Before we do that, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, and if you want to see my exclusive videos, check out my Patreon. Good humans, welcome to another episode of Odd Man Out. That's right, for all you K-pop fans out there and the BTS army, this one is for you. Super grateful Let's to our sponsor, Simple Habit, for bringing this episode to you guys. It's an amazing meditation app. Ian meditates all the time. I do, I'm a busy man, I get frenzied all the time, yeah. but when I meditate in the morning, it just calms me down, and Simple Habit is all about mental well-being and being grounded, so it's a really nice thing to work with them. Now, enjoy the episode. Do you guys meditate? BTS. Let me know. International super boy band in the world. I literally have a tattoo of my bias on my ankle. You're joking. V. Can that be for V or can that be for something else? Okay, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh huh. We brought together seven BTS fans. I'm a BTS fan. I am a BTS fan. I am a BTS fan. I am a BTS fan. I'm a BTS fan. I'm a BTS fan. I am a BTS fan. One is a liar. If the right. group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. Mm -hmm. If the liar survives, he or she wins the entire prize. Yeah, he gets all the money, or she. Let's see. All right, so I guess we should just go around and talk about how we got into BTS. The first person to start talking, I was going to suspect them immediately. Right when the buzzer started, she was like, OK, guys. Um, I actually started just because I wanted to see what, like, the hype of K-pop was. And soon after, I bought tickets to their concert. It started in February, and I've been whipped ever since. So I got okay. into loving BTS in January. And like, I was like digging their fashion. Ever since, I'm like so obsessed. Yeah, they dress great, mm -hmm. but I was like, I don't think that's the reason you become a fan. I don't know. I just thought it was weird that he said he's a supporter. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. So one of my fashion, best friends, their, their fashion is good, but one of the concert organizers for the Wings tour, and so she was like, "Hey, I have like extra tickets." And then after that, I was like, "Oh my gosh, like I have to get into them," and it was just like downhill ever since then. Uh -huh. So do you guys like all consider yourselves like fan or army? Because you know there's like a difference. You know what I mean? Yeah. I would say I'm army. I'd say I'm borderline. I'm ARMY. ARMY. Because I'm a newer fan, I would say fan. Like, actually, I, I'm not even, like, knowing of this big difference until now. So what do your friends your age think about, like... Oh... I mean, most... Being ARMY? Oh... Do yeah. you, like, openly tell them that you're oh, yeah. ARMY? Well, Tay is a little, you know, older than us, like everybody else who was in the box, and that kind of threw me off at first. I think it's cool. But even I was like, kind of a grown ass man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, we got a minute left to try to figure out. Okay, who everyone's biased. Yeah, I'm oh, not Jungle too Jungle sure about Jungle. the older Jungle. guy. Jungle Sop. <laughs> I'm double biased. <laughs> Tay and Hobie. So my ultimate mm -hmm. bias is Jungkook. And then yeah. I was bias wrecked by Jimin. And Hell then yeah. Yoongi is coming for me. Mm -hmm. I feel like you have to bias every single one and then decide like who your bias is. So you don't have a bias? I mean, not really. I would maybe Namjoon only because he's so maybe. smart. But like, well, I'm Depp's favorite. We got three seconds, so Laji <laughs> Molala. Huh? Okay. All right. Yeah, I would eliminate the older guy. Definitely, because he was like. Alan definitely. What did he say wasn't about giving being us as much as we wanted? Trinity. She was like emanating some type of energy next to me. Sayang. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Love you guys. All right. Well, he didn't know about the difference. Everybody had a little between too much Easy to being an bias, army just and just armies. a fan. So, okay. my, one of my plans were eliminate the baby armies first. If baby armies. <laughs> you've already caught the mole, you can end the game now, but if the majority has doubts, the game will continue. 
So I'm each round they get less time, right? With the last two seconds of the game. Okay. So if I go Tony Montana, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what that is. I I know what you mean by exactly. That. That's where my okay. delineation of, all right. Now my fear is you might be a baby army, or again. I exactly. I don't know what that means. My fear. Of like joining this. us in February. You got a Nolachi Molala, Tony Montana. These are just inside jokes every army knows. I had no idea. <laughs> I I'm sorry if I'm uncultured. I I'll know fix them. that after this. <laughs> I know most of the YouTube videos, which is why I'm actually confused as to why I don't know that. Uh huh. But, I mean, if I have to whip it out, I will. I literally have a tattoo of my bias on my ankle. Please show us. You're joking. Me. Where? And my best friend has one of Jay now. in the same place for Jimin. Can that be for V or can that be for something else? I don't know. That could be like a janky Nike swish. That could no, be I don't think so. I think things. that's I uh, that, that that's so actually a tattoo of her were, bias. You got into them since February of this that's year. That's V for for what V from BTS, not someone I mean, else. Pretty much all of them. I'd say my favorite one. Wait, I, I missed the question. Sorry. You were. That could be a whole lot of things. I don't know. <laughs> so you said you were you got into them since February of this year. Yes. What albums have you listened to? Uh -huh. I mean, pretty much all of them. I'd say my favorite one is probably Speak Yourself because that's like what got me into them. Okay. They don't have an album that's named Speak Yourself. It's Love Yourself. So you love this right. new album, this yes. past Sp album. Speak what Yourself Tour. You like Speak Yourself album? Tour. That's oh right. God. They have Speak Love Yourself. Are, are, like, that's not, not, like, the, not the title, title track. track. Like, not Boy Oh, Boyle. okay. Um, Home. Home's my favorite. I'm gonna be honest, I, I wasn't a huge fan of the last album. I wasn't. I wasn't either, but I liked Boy With Love. I, I thought I, I wasn't, and love, then I gave it another listen over. I was like, what am I talking about? <laughs> Everyone was all, you, and started asking me, and I was all, like, I literally forgot everything. Like, you don't. We Speak wanna get yourself. anybody who has any type of suspect feeling out, because I, I trust my gut. I just seriously thought that there's no way this dude <laughs> could be a BTS fan. <laughs> uh, sorry. Y'all made me expose my tattoo just to call me fake. <laughs> That's so messed up. Okay, so you said you were borderline. Six yeah, minutes I'm borderline. now. Why? Because I just started in like 2017, and I guess because my like just 2017 is behind me. Because I started getting into K-pop at like 2010. I I started I like two army. months ago, and I'm already in army. Me Come on. Behind me, because I started getting into K-pop at like 2010. I feel like when you are in army, you are proud to represent, so you don't just say, mm, "I'm iffy about it." Okay, I was re I was knee deep in the YouTube world, and I was so obsessed with uh, BTS. So I decided to apply to the airport because I knew that they fly through the airport to oh work gosh. at the airport. Yeah, I actually got a job oh. at LAX. Just to see BTS. I know. Tragic. Uh, okay. How did you guys feel about the Be Free commentary? Oh, um, years ago? From, yeah. Where he calls them girls and yeah. tells them. That whole thing with the rap community mm -hmm. attacking I mean, them. let's be honest. For the most part, even the Korean hip hop community, or especially the idol community, mm -hmm. some of the worst cultural appropriators you'll ever meet in the world. Oh, yeah, true. Let's, but, let's be honest. I, I, I mean, but at the same time, you have to understand. True. It's a country of, like, it's almost. It's a homogenous country. The question I asked, it was like deflected. <laughs> so I was like, hmm, okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to keep this going a bit. <laughs> the cultural appropriation so is one thing, but it's more so how like the rap community made them feel like other. That's what I yeah, kind of like talking they, about more. And because again, it, they're superficially just taking what they think hip hop is. I feel like when they first started out, there was just this like adamant, like I want to be this alpha male. I want to be yeah, this, no. like it wasn't, it's almost Authentic. like they had anger in him. You know, he, yeah. that was back when he had the perm, but yeah. we're not going to speak about that. <laughs> he, he doesn't want to speak about that, so let's just... <laughs> like, the glow-up was just, it's just been immaculate with them. Yeah. So. I mean. She was so vocal I've in, the like, the first two rounds. Kind of have no then idea at down, this point. Getting really deep, she was crickets. I was like... Okay. I just seem to know a little bit too much, too many like official things, textbook kind of things. Trinity, uh-huh. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah. Raise your hand if you want to be 
you have mm -hmm. any doubts, that the mall might still be in okay. the square, and you'd like to continue the game. I feel like they're gone. 50 I feel like they're good. Yeah. Yeah, because I have one doubt. I have one doubt. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... So one what's happening? We have to decide if you guys have any doubt, we continue the game. Let's continue. Right. Okay. okay. Let's okay. do it. I guess I started uh, realizing you could still be a K-pop fan, but not be a BTS fan. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's your doubt? Mm. My doubt was Mika. Be honest. My thought is you. Because you had no idea when I said Laji Molala. You gave this blank stare. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like she could be like a multi. That's not that doesn't multi um, BTS, uh, BTS at yeah. all. But I like feel she like you were saying a lot of them. textbook things. Textbook. Especially things. when we started getting into uh, the be free thing, you immediately started about cultural appropriation. I'm like, okay, that's kind of not on topic because that's something it's that's true. evident in all of K-pop. <laughs> like that's another conversation. We could talk about that What's later. What's your favorite V Live but, episode? Ooh. <laughs> Trying to think back to I haven't when seen he did the album review. A single episode yet. Crap. So okay, what's point, your so. favorite run BTS episode? Run if, you have, I will. if I have one. Or Army Bomb. I'll I'm not gonna lie, out. I don't think I've seen every Army Bomb. But my favorite run BTS, probably when they were in the sauna. About what was that, five, six episodes ago? I don't remember that. A lot of our um fandom knows and loves these videos. We talk about them all the time. And he was like, oh, uh, I was like, okay, there's so many, just choose one. Like, one was when they went to Six Flags in Texas, and Hobie was on <laughs> one fucking roller coaster, I don't remember. The other one was when they got scared and they were supposed to go to the zoo, but then they ended up getting scared by zombies. Yeah, I hate to see Kay. it. Uh-huh. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's see. Now do we feel confident? Okay, this let's see. This game is see. so hard, you don't know who the mole is. It could be anyone. Let's and the only see. person you could be 100% sure of is yourself, whether you're the mole or army. That's all you can be. If the lights around you turn red, the mole is still in the square and you lose. My if lord, the Jimin. If around you turn green, you have successfully voted the mole out, and you win the money. Uh -huh. My lord, Jimin, please come down on us. Okay, oh, so who was the mole? <laughs> I'm happy <laughs> that we won. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm like, there's no other way. We know who's not army. Like, we can sense it. We can feel it in our bones. <laughs> if the mole wishes to reveal themselves, they can step into the square. Oh! Who? Now I feel super betrayed. She walked in like, oh, black army, black army. Girl! <laughs> I am not a BTS fan, I'm an EXO fan. Oh, okay. One thing that I okay. wasn't surprised about was that she is an EXO fan. <laughs> Who's your group? EXO. I knew it was gonna be an XOL. I knew it was gonna be an XOL. <laughs> what up? Oh. Yeah, the K-pop fandom is definitely pretty vicious towards each other. And I think especially after today, I think it's just silly. Everyone was super nice. Really, we're no different. We just like different groups and it's dumb to fight over something as trivial as that. I actually BTS agree. BTS fans come yeah. in all different shapes and sizes and ages and genders and races. It's just a beautiful fandom. Trinity, I got your back, girl. Um, if anyone wants to fight, you gotta talk to me first, okay? Do <laughs> you have any last words to our Yes, yes. Let's just keep supporting the boys. I believe their message is worth getting out to the world. One day, if everyone could be army, it'd be a better world. Sarangay. First time in Odd Men Out history. They did it. To catch you did all. it, BTS Army. Wow. Try not First to. time. Don't hate. Mm. Meditate. Oh, yeah. That's a good because. Story. This episode is actually brought to you by Simple Habits. Did you hear that, guys? The first time ever in the history of this show, they they uh, they completed the challenge. Yeah, the, the army knows what's up. I feel like if I participated in this show, I would get eliminated as well because, for example, I haven't seen any run uh, episodes or V Live episodes yet. I kind of know the names of the albums, but I don't remember the order exactly. And uh, yeah, some of the inside jokes, I'm not aware of them as well. But yeah, this was actually very interesting and entertaining. I kind of sensed that Trinity wasn't a VTS fan, uh, but yeah, when there was only three of them left or four of them left, I, I wasn't sure at all, and I felt like all of them were BTS fans, so yeah, my, uh, I, I, I was right as well. And uh, what about you guys? Did you guess who the mole was? 
let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed this video. And if you did as well, then you know what to do now. You leave a like, you subscribe, and you click the bell. I will see you all Aeronators in my next video. Don't forget to check out my second channel. The link is going to be in the description. And as always, take care. Keep listening to great music and keep being an army and love.